everyone this is stephanie welcome back to my channel so today we're doing another pick a card reading on what let's say you have questions on your path right um questions on maybe a decision that that is going on in your life right now um or unsure of your path going forward or just just where you are right now i'm just going to bring in forward some messages from spirit from your spirit team um universe on guidance on what they want you to know what they think is important for you to know right now um you know some some kind of support of something or maybe nudging you into a certain direction we'll see what the cards have to say but i'm going to pull three cards from this map oracle from colette baron reed baron reed and you guys can take a look at the cards that i'm going to pull up and i put them here it's going to be three cards signifying or um basically for each pile and you guys decide on which pile is calling to you okay so we're going to call we're going to pick pile one spirit can you help me to pick the card for pile one on their path help us to get guidance on their path help me to pick a card that signifies represents pile one please pile one which Okay, so we have Dragon's Lair, and this is card 19. This is for pile one. Dragon's Lair. Now you could call, you can pick, depending like if you're pulled to a certain card, or the, the illustrations on the card, whatever, um, if you're just getting the feeling or... A nudge to call to pick a certain pile or if you guys usually just pick one pile anyway okay spirit pile number two please help me to pick the card for pile number two please pile number two please okay we got sad embrace and this is number 45 Now let's pick number three, please, Spirit. Help me to pick the card for pile number three, please. The card for pile number three, please. Help me to pick the card for pile number three, the card that represents pile number three, please. Okay, and we have mountain. Number six. Okay, so you need to take a second to pick that pile that is calling to you. I will be starting with card number one or pile number one, the dragon's lair, and I will see you guys there. Pile one, you picked the dragon's lair. Okay, so what I'm getting with this, the dragon's lair, this could be what i'm getting with this is okay so when we see a dragon here he's lurking in this cave right there there could be um some fear i'm <clears throat> sorry sorry <laughs> some sorry some fear with some of you about the path going forward a lot of you are maybe afraid of what may happen what may what may occur um and with this i'm getting here a message from spirit that um if we are we let those fears that may be so there's like a two-sided message to this so as you go on to this course you see this this uh the set of stairs here you don't you you kind of see the, the beginning of it you kind of see that but once it goes inside this layer you don't really know the ins and outs you don't know what's around that corner so a lot of you i feel in this pile are on the kind of preci precipice of a new decision of a of a decision of should i go this way I kind of want to, but I'm afraid of what's lurking. What can happen? What may happen to me? Is this a dangerous path? Is this going to be a bad uh, decision for me? But you don't know until you try it also. So with this card, again, I, I'm saying there's two two sides to this. So yes, if this, this is a new path for you, be careful, tread carefully and watch for possible, you know, sharp turns or whatever and just be just navigate with with um smartly you know with with intelligence but also that there's a grand adventure as well 
This is a grand adventure here. And with this dragon here, flight, new adventure, going to new places, right? There, there, you never know unless you try is the message here. Obviously, with the dragon here lurking, there, there is one message from spirit that there may be certain things around you that they want you to be aware of, but not to let that hold you back from trying this new endeavor of having this new adventure. Let's keep going and let's get more messages from the cards to see what uh, what, what wants to come forward. Okay, I'm gonna pull from the Energy Oracle to see also. Spirit, can you help me to see for pile one, please? About their path, please. Guidance on their path, please. If they are confused on their path, what guidance can you give them, please, for my pile ones? Guidance on their path, please. Guidance on their path. Okay. Okay, so we got Archangel Ariel. So I'm getting here, and this is a sacral chakra. This is a creative project a lot of you have been thinking about. Something that you've been working on. This could be something with writing, something with, uh, with you actually drawing, illustrating things, creating a screenplay, for example, uh, just something creative. Because this is a, the, the sacral chakra is all about creativity. And you've been kind of like sitting back on this and worried if it's going to be taken well or if this is a new project that you want to kind of put out there you never know until you try but let's keep going yin yang here i'm getting with this also um my pile ones uh what this yin yang i'm getting two messages with this and i'm going to go into that other message because this could also have to do with a relationship for some of you um this yin yang here the call for balance right so with this project of if some of you have been putting so much energy into this that you're starting to feel depleted a little bit, there's a call for balance. And to, if you're going to start this new endeavor and actually put yourself out there and put your things out there and you're scared of the, the possible pitfalls, going in there with a sense of balance logic, obviously putting your, your creative energy into it, but also think, thinking about things logically as well. If you go in through this with balance, you're going to avoid a lot of these pitfalls that you're afraid of. Okay, and if this, if you need to get advice from other people, this is, this is the, this energy is being coming, this, it's, I'm sorry, this energy is coming in. Okay, one second. Okay, so yes, this is definitely um, something creative that you've been putting a lot of energy into, but also what the, what the message is here, to go into this with balance. Um, both energies balanced out. Don't feel, don't be depleted, right? Think logically, but also creatively. Don't put too much into, like um, what I'm getting here is thinking too much on the fantasy side of things and uh, like without, like getting your books straight is what I'm getting here with this. Make sure your books are straight. Make sure everything, all ends are tied is what I'm getting here. But also with some of you, if this is a relationship with the sacral chakra energy, um, this is an energy coming in and going into this relationship with a sense of balance also. If some of you have gone into or had issues with relationships where uh, emotion kind of let me see here how to put this. If emotions or uh, uh, feelings of doubt kind of overwhelms your ability to navigate the relationship in a logical way, if you guys understand what I'm saying, especially if some people here have struggled with trust issues and you let maybe the emotions take over you are thinking about things in a logical way with your partner and allowing those emotions to kind of overwhelm the, the relationship. The spirit is calling in for a sense of balance here because I feel like there's a new, a new energy coming in with that also. But a lot of you are fearful of, uh, of is it going to go bad again? You know what I'm saying? If this is a new relationship coming in, a lot of you are afraid, okay, is this going to happen? Is the same thing going to happen from the past? And what I'm getting here with this is that the spirit wants you to bring in a sense of balance to your emotions, to your to your mind, and not let, not let paranoia take over. Sorry if I wasn't clearly putting that through. Uh, sometimes 
when I'm trying to get the, the images out of my head and like trying to get that out, it kind of comes out a little <laughs> wonky. Okay, so let's see here. So I'm definitely getting here something creative and this all also, also can be something of passion, re meaning a relationship, right? And a sense of balance is needed to navigate this dragon's lair, okay? Angel spirit, please help me to see more for pile one. And like guidance that you have for pile one about whatever they're trying to navigate in their life right now, whatever decisions are trying to come to, whatever confusion is around them right now, what guidance and what clarity can we bring to my pile ones, please? Because a lot of you, and this is a project again, a lot of you are very passionate about it. But remember, and again, Spirit is really bringing forward, yes, you're passionate about it, and there's a lot of energy and a lot of potential with this. And even if this is a relationship, but don't let uh, yourself become overwhelmed by that passion and um, emotion and paranoia of what may happen, what may go wrong. Because the new adventure, and yes, with any new adventure, there may be things around the corner that we don't see, but still don't let that stop you from starting this new adventure. Balance is key to navigate this dragon's lair. Spirit, for pile one, please, for pile one. But, and one more, and what more guidance do you have for my pile ones about how they can navigate this, please? This confusion that's around them, please. For my pile ones, please. Okay, we got two of fire. This is the two of wands. Again, this is a decision here. You've come into your own new partnerships or contact contracts. Continue to move forward. Definitely a new energy coming forward. And what I'm getting here, again, this could be a relationship. This could be a relationship or with these new contracts, this could be a project that you're putting out to the universe. And also what I'm getting here, if you're afraid of maybe somebody not being completely like, oh no, can I trust this person? Uh, of course, they're in the dragon's lair, there can be perils that you don't see about, but that's why there needs to be balance and logical thinking. If you need to go to other people for advice, let's say legal counsel or somebody that is... Um, kind of separate from this can look at this entire situation objectively and is not emotionally attached to the situation go to them for for advice because there's definitely some kind of a creative project here and and possible also for some of you a relationship because there's a there's an energy of two here a deci decision that's coming forward and the empress is definitely something um creative here for sure now. Archangel Gabriel also. This is about communication. There's a key communication, a need, a need for clear, concise, logical communication, and with this, and balance in the communication with this with this yin yang card here. Lavish abundance, give birth to your dreams, nurture yourself and others. So definitely there's an energy of some kind of project coming to fruition. For some of you. For some of you, this may be a child coming in. And with this Empress and Sa on Sacral Chakra here, and oh, for some, this uh, definitely has something to do with a project for a lot of you, I feel like, and has to do with money coming in also with Archangel Ariel here and Lavish Abundance. But this also for some of you can be actually the birth of a child or the conception of a child here. But it's definitely new contracts. It's definitely an energy of a project, a new endeavor coming forward for you, my pile ones. We got King of Air here, brilliant, impartial, professional, diplomatic. Speak your mind with confidence. Remember, look at this. Archangel Gabriel is the Archangel of Communication, a throat chakra. Speaking clearly. Speak your mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice, balance mental and emotional, emotional considerations. What was I saying? Balance out the emotions. There's a huge potential, a huge potential for money with this, but make sure that you're you're tying all loose ends. You're making sure all contracts are read through, that you're not getting screwed over by anything. That's why you need to go to professional advice definitely here because there's logical thinking, balancing of the emotions that is needed here. This is definitely for, I feel like for most of you, I think this is a situation regarding some kind of creative project or some kind of a new endeavor that you're trying to get into that's going to be bringing you money. 
It's going to be bringing you money. And you're very passionate about this, okay? For some of you, this is a relationship and a possible child coming in, okay? My pile threes. I mean, sorry, my pile ones. Okay, let's see here. This definitely um, all pointing out to the same direction. Let's ask the uh, my sacred travel oracle cards. Spirit for my pile ones, please. What can you tell me about pile one and their path going forward? What messages do you have for pile one, please? What guidance and clarity can you bring to them? There's a new adventure for sure. Look, all the even though this is, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Even though this is kind of scary right here with this dragon, you can see his red eyes here. There's a sense of adventure here with his dragon's light. Everything, every time I see like a dragon like energy, I'm thinking about fantasy and uh, adventure and. You know, even though it can be scary, there's an excitement to it also. So there's something new, exciting, a new energy, a new exciting energy coming forward. And sometimes with new energy, there can be things that uh, may be a little scary and unknown, but also great happiness and potential for money with the dragon. The dragon protects treasure in its lair, right? And you got to navigate your way through there with logic to be able to get to the dragon's treasure. My pile ones, spirit. For pile one, what other messages do you have for pile one, please? On what, cl what what clarity can you bring to my pile ones, please? Pile ones, please. Oops. Look at this great adventure. Take a risk, venture forward. What can I tell you? This is all leading, I'm telling you, a lot of you, this is a huge, huge shift in your energy. And we got at the bottom of the deck, valiant courage, take action with passion. Yes, with passion, but with logic also. Passion and logic, pile ones. And we got next here, vast vistas, expand your horizons. For some of you, if you've been comfortable and, you know, in your comfort zone, and this is a, this is another nudge from the universe that you're going to be going into new, new, broadening your horizons. You're going to be maybe moving into new areas and it's a little scary for some of you, but this is going to bring you a lot for some of you. Great abundance pile, pile one. This is great, great energy. I love this. I'm really excited for you guys. I'm super excited. Um, let me see here. Is this a lot? Any last message? Any last message um, that I can give you? Let me see. Oh, you know what? Let me go to my Archangel Michael deck over here. I always like to kind of close with something like that. A nice positive message from Archangel Michael. For some of you that are afraid, call on Archangel Michael to protect and give you courage and confidence. Archangel Michael, do you have any messages for my pile ones about this new adventure that they're going to be embarking on, please? Pile ones, please. Archangel Michael, any message for my pile ones, please? Message for my pile ones, please. Ask Archangel Michael to help you with this situation. He's saying, call on him. Call on him. Okay. Uh, and he's with you to give you courage, okay? He's definitely coming forward. He's like, ask me to help you, okay? And this is the prayer you can you can say if this is resonating with you. Archangel Michael, thank you for assisting me with, and you can describe the situation. Please help me be filled with faith and peace at all times. Okay, and this is your last message, Pile 1. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading, and I will see you soon. Bye now. Hello, Pile 2. You picked the sad embrace okay so what i'm getting here my pile twos yeah um some of you some of you are going through a really hard time some of you are feeling a little alone like there's no one that you can speak to and really um open up to and really like There's, I feel like some of you feel like some people will not understand what you're going through or maybe you're ashamed to speak of things that you feel maybe like people won't really feel like it's important or as important as what's going on around you, but it is real to you. And what I'm getting here, my pile, my pile twos here, this card, this person is 
like holding themselves right now. Um, but what I'm seeing here with this, my pile twos, although you may feel alone, this person, this, uh, this person is out in the moonlight under the night sky, under the scar, the starry sky. And what I'm getting here with this moonlight here shining on this person, there is a path opening up for a lot of you that you don't see right now because there, there, you know, especially when times are going a little bit rough and we just, we don't even have time for ourselves and we're, we're just trying to get through the day, you know, and, and start everything all over again the next day. We don't even have time to even look for alternative avenues or address other possibilities because we're so overwhelmed in the in the moment in the now and just trying to get through the day and getting through our, our situation with this moonlight there's i'm definitely getting here there's an, a path opening up for a lot of you that you don't see right now okay and it's opening up but what spirit wants you to do is I know, like, go through these motions and address these feelings because it's very real to you right now. But to be aware that there is a path opening up for you. The, the moon is shining upon you. And also with this night sky here, there is a lot of spirit allies around you. Ancestor spirits, you know, people around you in spirit, guides, angels, spirit guides that are with you, they are around you, they're watching over you and they're trying to guide you as well. So there's definitely a message here coming forward for a lot of you, my pile twos, that there is going to be some synchronicities coming forward and they want you to be uh, aware and keep your eyes open because it's gonna come when you least expect it. But definitely with this moon here, um, the subconscious also, the subconscious, a lot of you are getting in touch with the subconscious also. And really delving deep into a lot of of the shadow also on my pile twos and trying to work through a lot of things that you kind of shelved away in the past and never try not to look at it because it was too painful for a lot of you, my pile twos. And you're addressing it now and it's hard to see and it's hard to look at um, and 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 contemplate but a lot of you are going through this right now and spirit is with you they're with you and they're helping you through this process a lot of you are going through the, a lot of shadow work right um dark night of the soul energy um just really going and a lot of you are doing a lot of work with this as well let's look, get some messages from the energy oracle spirit can you help me to give some messages to my pile twos about how to navigate this difficult path right now that maybe is maybe going on for some of them for my pile twos what what can they what they do what do they need to know right now that can help them navigate through this right now what do they need to know what do they need to know what guidance do you have for my pile twos what guidance do you have for my pile twos Okay, we got woman holding a coin. For some of you, there's going to be uh, money coming in. Money coming that's going to be helping you out of this situation. And also, it could be possibly a woman of wealth, of means, that is going to be helping you, um, connecting you with uh, answers or, or solutions to whatever is going on for you right now, my pile twos. Appreciation here. Definitely a feminine energy I'm getting here. Okay. And also with the cat here, I'm getting a lot of intuition, uh, a lot of intuitive, um, um, like a clear message that you, a lot of you are working through your intuition. And when this moonlight here, the subconscious, connecting with your subconscious, um, and really, and again, with the moon, um, like dreams, um, visions coming to a lot of you a lot of you are really connecting with this essence of yourself and this is going to be helping you navigate again because it, it really feel like spirit is coming through also and they're going to be uh, actually like really stepping up to help a lot of you navigate through this situation with this appreciate and, and definitely a, feel like um a, a sense of uh like something coming up, like something of luck coming up that's going to be helping you to feel more stable. Also, um, here with this appreciation appreciation card.
what I'm getting here with this, my pile twos, although it may be hard if things are going, that things are really, really going rough for you right now, and it's hard to navigate through the day, they also want you to look around you, and it can be something small. Let's say you ate a really delicious sandwich for lunch, to appreciate the little things around you because that's going to help shift your energy as well. Um, just bringing in that being present and trying not to stay in the past so, so much. I know a lot of you may be doing a lot of this shadow work and trying to navigate through that and um, a lot of healing work. Um, when you do go through this, try to also stay present. Although that may be hard, especially when there's like a lot of uh, like just trying to go through the day. There's something about smelling the roses with this, smelling the roses, being present, just kind of like if you can, for just a few seconds or a few minutes every day, take yourself out of the space that you're in mentally and just look around you and be like, I'm so happy for my shoes on my feet or um, the car that I'm in right now, the, the ability to get to work. You know what I mean? Just stepping into that energy for just a few seconds, if you can, a few minutes, if you can, and that's going to help to shift your energy. My pile twos. Okay. We got Archangel Michael, first chakra, Archangel Michael. The Archangel Michael's really with a lot of you. Really, really offering his protection, right? I'm telling you that there's a lot of um, like spirit energy around you, protecting you, trying to help you navigate. They're trying to guide you. They're, even though a lot of you feel alone, you are not alone. Spirit is with you. And Archangel Michael stepping forward here. And with this first chakra, this is the root chakra. And this woman holding a coin. There's going to be an opportunity, something coming in. Again, with this moon card, with this moon an energy that I was seeing, there's going to be an opportunity opening up that you don't see yet because right now a lot of you are just focused on just trying to get through your days right now. This moon energy is going to be shining down on you. There's going to be a new opportunity, a new uh, a new windfall of money or something. And for some of you, there's going to be a feminine energy coming in that's going, somebody of means is going to be helping you with some kind of solution. This is also going to be bringing in some kind of money for a lot of you that's going to be helping you to feel more stable, stabilizing your root chakra. Okay, spirit. Actually, let me go to the... Angel spirit. For my pile twos, what guidance can you give them to help them get some clarity on their path? Because a lot of them feel a little confused not knowing what to do a lot of them feel a little uh, a little bit sad right now and they can't and they're trying to just get through that right now what can you tell what can you what guidance can you give us please for my pile twos to help them navigate through this situation right now get them getting them through this phase right now getting them through this what can you tell us my pile twos my uh, for my pile twos please Spirit, for my pile twos. What guidance, what guidance do you have for them? For my pile twos. The Empress, Archangel Gabriel, lavish abundance, give birth to your dreams, nurture yourself and others. Again, and what I'm gonna hear with nurturing yourself and others, remember what I was saying about appreciation? Just the, like just sitting there with your cup of coffee in the morning and be like, oh, this tastes so delicious. Thank you, universe, for this delicious cup of coffee, this delicious brownie, whatever that you, whatever the, whatever that you, that you have in front of you. Stepping into that and being present and just enjoying every second of that little moment is just going to shift your energy so much because, and also nurturing yourself, give yourself like a facial or something like this. Give you put a mask on yourself and just enjoy and luxuri luxurize in that moment. But again, with this Empress card coming in, there's some definitely a shifting of energy coming in for a lot of you right now. Um, spirit is really trying to just even though you're in a sad embrace right now, spirit is really embracing you right now, and they want you to know that things are going to be shifting. With Archangel Gabriel also stepping forward, um, there's a need for a lot of you to voice your opinions. 
right now whatever it is that you need right now it's okay to you to speak up there may be people that may be around you that will listen and it can be a feminine energy coming in if you voice what your needs are this person will step in and help you but there's a need for clarity and communication also with archangel gabriel stepping forward abundance here remember woman holding a coin archangel michael a sense of stability is coming in. There's definitely some kind of money coming in for a lot of you. My pile, my pile twos. We got King of Air. I think pile one got some of these cards. King of Air, again, a sense of clarity, communication, right? Professional diplomatic. Speak your mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice. Balance mental and emotional considerations. If some of you feel like it would help you to speak to somebody, maybe like some kind of therapy or something like this, going to somebody for advice and, and just um, trying to um, put your needs out there, like put out what, what you've been going through. This is really going to help you. There's definitely a feminine energy coming in and a shift of abundance coming in for a lot of you. But definitely um, going to uh, somebody for advice is, is needed for some of you. And it would actually help you out. But definitely with this King of Air and Archangel Gabriel, there's a sense of communication, being clear about your, uh, about your, about your needs. And people are going to hear you and step up to help you, my pile twos. Okay, so we got here, King of Earth. There's definitely... Um, like two court cards coming in. There can be also masculine energy stepping forward. Okay, we got generous, professional, responsible, practical, a successful time, confidently accept opportunities that you're offered, the Midas touch. Definitely a sense, I'm telling you, um, there's already like three cards now pointing, um, actually four, one, two, three, four here. Um, stepping, these cards are bringing forward a message about prosperity, money coming in, a change of fortune for a lot of you okay with this king of earth again a sense of stability material wealth feeling like you have a stable uh a stable foundation okay the midas touch money coming into something shifting with that all is not lost my pile twos all is not lost you have spirit coming in protecting you and trying to guide you and they want to tell you with this moon energy i'm definitely getting the moon Obviously, it's very uh, subconscious and, and is in touch with our feelings. So a lot of you are going through this right now, trying to work through that out. But also, I definitely got a message from the moon that this light is shining on you and there's an opportunity coming in. There's a there's like a, a light, like in the darkness is a light that's going to be coming in that's going to help you navigate out of that darkness. And that moon energy is coming in. And it could be with a feminine energy, but also there could be masculine energies coming in. But it's definitely a shift in your abundance and in, in your in your situation regarding that. Okay, let's see here. Oh, actually, let me just keep these out here. What am I doing? Let me pull from the other. The Sacred Traveler deck. For my pile twos. Spirit, for my pile twos, what message do you have for them? What ha what message do you have for my pile twos, please, about their path going forward? And also what I'm getting here with this appreciation card, you're going to be in a state like this. Where things are going to be shifting so much, you're going to be so grateful for now you're like, oh my God, look where I am now. I didn't think it was going to happen, but it happened. And I appreciate and I'm so grateful for the changes that occurred in my life. I'm going to pile twos, please, Spirit, for my pile twos. What guidance do you have for them on their path? How they can navigate through the, any confusion that they have in their lives right now? What guidance do you have for my pile twos, please? What guidance do you have for my pile twos, please, spirit? Rejuvenating rain, clear the past, heal the present. Definitely a lot of you are going through this healing process right now. A lot of you would benefit from a spiritual bath. You want to look into what herbs, like you can use some Florida water and different herbs and help that cleanse that energy, stagnant energy. 
we got impasse here, reflect and redirect your energy. A lot of you are feeling like you're in this impasse right now and you're feeling like blocked right now. So a lot of you are like, oh my God, what am I going to do? Reflect and redirect your energy. And you're going to be doing this because there's a new opportunity coming in. God, Spirit is going to be guiding you out of that. There's going to be a light shining in in this darkness to help you get out of that. Reflect. What you're doing already reflecting a lot and you're going to be redirecting your energy. But right now... If you guys have been trying to do one thing and just like you keep like hitting roadblocks, roadblocks, there's going to be another way that's going to be opening up. Not all is lost. Pile two. Begin now. Take your first step. That's going to be occurring right now. It's going to be a new opportunity coming in. And you're going to be taking your new steps into your new adventure. My pile twos. And what do we have here at the bottom of the deck? Believe in magic. Journey by moonlight. Again, look at this deep subconscious energy here. This person is traveling journey by moonlight. This is an alternate path, alternate path, a path not well traveled, a path you didn't think about, a path you never even considered. Because the path that you've been trying to do or the way that, that you've been trying to navigate things, it's not working right now. And you're, a lot of, for some of you have been really worried about like, why, what, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Something is going to change, shift your energy to go into a different way. Journey by moonlight, you're going to be guided. My pile of twos, you're going to be guided. Okay, let's see here. One more. Let me ask the um, Archangel Michael deck. Definitely a lot of moon energy is coming here. Moon energy, subconscious, magic, spirituality. A lot of you are doing some shadow work and navigating your way out of that. Shifting your energy. A lot of you are shifting into a new persona. The old you is gone. You're letting that go. You're getting out of that shell. My pile twos. Archangel Michael, and he definitely stepped forward already, Archangel Michael. Let's see what messages he has for you. Archangel Michael, what messages do you have for pile two, please, on what they're going through right now? How to navigate out of this situation that they're in. If they're confused about their path, what guidance do you have for them, Archangel Michael? What guidance do you have for them, Archangel Michael? What guidance do you have for them, Archangel Michael, please? What guidance do you have for them? explore your options what definitely there's other options coming in an alternate path okay and this is the prayer dear god thank you for your wisdom and love helping me see understand and assess all of my alternate options please guide me in the best direction for my health happiness and life's purpose definitely put that out to the universe to help you because i feel like some of you feel like all you have no way to go you feel blocked everything that you've tried isn't working and a lot of you feeling like oh what am like really like at your wit's end for some of you there's other options another opportunity opening up another way something you didn't think about really put that out there okay and we got at the bottom of the deck, be gentle with yourself. A lot of you are being very hard on yourself. Archangel Michael, please guide me by treating myself. Please guide me in treating myself with gentle, nurturing love in everything I think, speak, and do. Help me know that I deserve this compassion. I release any feelings of guilt to you so that I may experience lasting inner peace. Okay, so these are your messages, pile two. I hope that this resonated for you. I hope this makes sense and helps to ha give you some clarity on this path going forward let me know in the comment section how this you know this is working out for you um I, i'd really love to hear about it um i hope i wish you guys the best and i will see you soon and have a good night bye so pile three you picked the mountain number six here so um when i read from the lenormand deck the mountain card and what i'm seeing here also i'm getting this this feeling from this card as well um, blockages, <clears throat> um, blocked roads, uh, cross conditions, right? Um, and also with this card here, you see this guy, this, it's like a road going into his mouth. For a lot of you, this is looking at a path 
and not knowing how you're going to be able to get through this. The, uh, the, the path for a lot of you looks very treacherous or looks very uh, unbearable. I'm getting 10 of wands energy here. A lot of, a lot of stress on your back, a lot of, a lot of load that you have to carry for some, some of you, uh, the road going forward, you feel like, oh, when am I going to, when am I going to see, um, like a breakthrough? When am I going to make some progress? I'm, I'm getting this message from this card here. A lot of you are seeking, uh, or like ask out to the universe, like, when am I going to see some, you know, some headway? When am I going to, like, I feel like this road is so long, right? Let's keep going. Let's, let's look at the other cards and see what they also have to say. Okay, so let's see here. Our um, spirit for pile three, the mountain, please. What messages do you have for my pile threes, please? Okay, this card flipped over right away, 27, walking away. For a lot of you, you feel that it's not even worth the, the, the squeeze is not worth the juice or, or whatever the saying is. You're putting so much work into it and you're not seeing any, any feedback. You're not seeing any, any, any progress, any results for a lot of you. Whatever this, this is, this could be a relationship. This could be work. You're putting so much work into this, for example, and you're not feeling like um, you're you're being appreciated, a lot of you, in your relationship or with work. The energy that you're putting in, a lot of you, you're like, you know, I'm doing all this and I don't see it. Like, they don't even appreciate me. I'm not getting paid what I'm worth. Um, so this is a message for a lot of you and a lot of you thinking about walking away. And I feel the message from spirit also can be, it's time to start walking away looking at other options this is not in your best interest whatever it is this this obstacle for some of you that we'll keep going to see what other messages are coming forward yeah you see her like turning back and she's walking through this gate and then you see this little firefly here this firefly is trying to help her this is like calling her attention come with me come with me i know the, a better way i know a better way that play that way even though sometimes um, for example, I'm not trying to say like things, it sometimes, uh, w let's say we're starting a new business. There's going to be challenges, right? And you know, we don't turn away from challenges because it's a little bit hard. That's not what I'm saying here. But sometimes when you're, you've done so much and the most you can do, and you're really not seeing anything, sometimes it's time to turn away and go on a different path. Right. But this also can mean that there's going to be another, uh, another, uh, something that's coming that's going to help you navigate through this mountain, but let's keep going. But for some of you, you're feeling like you want to walk away. Okay. Spirit, can you help me to see more, please, for my pile threes? What messages do you have for my pile threes on this, on how, what confusion they have on their path right now? How to navigate out of that to get where they need to be? Please, pile, for pile three, spirit, for pile three. Can you help me to see that, please? The temple path. The temple path. Okay. So the temple, we go to temple, we go to church. We're seeking, we're, we're trying to put our... We're trying to put our prayers there. Where it is a, a, a deeply spiritual place, right? Where we go for try to, to try to get some some level of peace to unload to to God, to the universe, whoever that we pray to, our deities. We go there for us um, seeking solace, seeking peace, spiritual. Yeah. So we go to this temple, right, to get peace, right? And what I'm getting here, the temple path. There's a need uh, for contemplation, my pile twos, for some of you. You're on the verge of walking away for some of you. You're on the verge of, um, like, some of you just don't know which decision, which path to take. And there's a need for a lot of you to get at peace within, kind of go into a place of a meditation, of silence within, and really seek out what it is you truly want in your heart. And it will give you the answer that you need. Because maybe for some of you, uh, what you thought you wanted in the past pushed, pushed a lot of you into this path over here where there was like maybe some blockages, right? And maybe you don't feel really at peace with that situation. And what spirit is 
coming forward with is a need for you to feel at peace. Get into a, cent a centering yourself. Again, look at this. All these little uh, orbs here, all these little sprites here, sprites around you. They're trying to get your attention. They're like, you know what you really want. You know what's going to bring you true happiness. And maybe that's not the way. But let's keep going. Let's keep going. I'm just trying, I, I'm going to definitely say what exactly I feel. And again, look at this temple path. You're like running away because you're, a lot of you are running away. You're like, this is not bringing me happiness anymore. This is not bringing me fulfillment. I don't feel appreciated anymore. And I need to walk to, I, a lot of you are going to be, oh, you know what I'm getting with this. A lot of you are walking into a spiritual path. A lot of you are walking away from a nine to five job that was not giving you um, a passion, fulfillment anymore. You felt stagnant. You felt blocked. You felt like your life was dry. Because look at this mountain here. It looks like it's in a desert too. That you felt like your life was dry without fulfillment, without passion, without excitement. And a lot of you are following the spirit path. A lot of you are following your guides, what is bringing you. Because look at this. I'm getting here. You see the dryness of this card, the the, the arid, um, the parched. I feel parched here when I look at this card. I feel thirsty when I look at this card. It wasn't giving you sustenance. It wasn't giving you what you need. And here in this card, she's look, look at this beautiful pink dress that she has. It's vibrant. It's color. It has life, right? And she's walking towards what is bringing her life and passion and and feeding her spirit. And for a lot of you, spirit is bringing forward your this temple path that you're going to be walking on this path, my pile threes, that's going to be bringing you spiritual fulfillment. A lot of you are going to be working with spirit and doing this type of work, healing work that's going to be bringing you life, feeling, feeding your spirit, my pile threes. This is a message for some of you. This may not apply to all of you, but let's keep going. Spirit for my pile threes. Anything else for my pile threes? For my pile threes. What messages do you have for that? Oh my god, this one flew out. You this pile is definitely my spirit pile. Uh this one came out magician in the mirror. Look, this this magician, he has fire and he has it looks like air to me. I'm like, I had to pull it up. So he has the elements in his hands and he can manifest anything, right? And look at the mirror here. What he sees, what he creates in his mind, because he's a magician, when he looks into the mirror, it is in his reality. He can see it in his reality, right? So you, a lot of you are manifesting this, um, this spiritual, uh, you're in a, like this phase of, Deep manifestation, strong manifesting powers that a lot of you have. Um, and also with the magician in the mirror, again, a lot of you are magicians. A lot of you are spiritual healers. You can, he some of you can heal with your hands. I'm getting this also. And whatever path you are on, you are not using your true talents, my pile threes. Your talents are here. Your talents are here. To manifest, to help people evolve spiritually, to heal people spiritually. Some of you can heal with your hands. Literally, like with this right here, your hands can get hot. You can do Reiki also, my pile threes. A lot of you are being led by spirit also. I see anything else from this pile here. Anything from this pile. I mean, sorry, from this deck. Spirit for pile three. For pile three, please. For pile three. If they have, um, if they're having confusion regarding their path and navigating through this right now, and if you're at a crossroads right now, at an impasse, cross condition, is there something blocks roads? What can you, what guidance can you give them, please, that will help them to feel better and and be able to navigate through this place. Yeah, we got indecision here. You're going to be getting to a point, my pile threes, where you're going to have to make a decision. You're going to have a decision to make. Okay, and don't, don't, don't get anxious over this. You're going to end up, I feel like a lot of you are going to be choosing to follow this, this, uh, 
this calling of yours. Let's let's look at the tarot here and see what other messages spirit has for you, my pile threes. Spirit for my pile threes. What can you give one what, what what guidance can you give them that will help them navigate through this, please? The pile three. What guidance can you give them that will help them navigate them through this, please? Spirit from the pile threes. What guidance do you have for them that can help guide and navigate them through this, please? For my pile threes. For my pile threes, please, spirit. Ten of fire, ten of wands. A lot of you, again, the mountain. Remember I said ten of wands before? Ten of wands, too much work. Accept help from others. Life is out of balance, stress-related. Health concerns, if some of you are being stressed out, be careful with that. Okay, um, definitely a need to uh, take some time out for some of you with this temple path here. Take some time out. There's a need to center here. I think this is going to bring a lot of you clarity. Maybe taking a small little three-day like vacation or, or something, taking a spa day or just being alone with yourself at home, doing meditations, just getting centered. There's a need for centering yourself and getting in touch with, with your spirit, okay? With the ace of fire here coming, an exciting new opportunity, career advancement, and change your life now. There's definitely, again... What I was saying here in indecision, but this she's at a crossroads, right? And with this, this is going to be a new energy coming in that's going to, and you're going to have to choose. It's coming very soon for you, my pile threes. This is very, this is coming soon. It's an opportunity coming in. And a lot of you are going to be like, oh my God, should I do it? I think the answer is definitely yes, because this is, this is, this energy, this opportunity is coming in with like your spirit team and these divine beings are guiding this and they're trying to bring this influx of energy to you to help you get and start walking towards a path of fulfillment and enriching your spirit. My pile because a lot of you are burnt out. A lot of you are burned out. Accept help from others. It's okay to take a time off. It's okay to get in. It's not, don't feel guilty about this. Pile three. Okay, and we got the Chariot Archangel Metatron, an important achievement, self-discipline, and willpower, public recognition. Again, with this Ace of Fire and this Chariot, is definitely energy moving. You guys are going to be making this decision and you're going to, nobody's going to be able to hold you back with this Chariot here. Movement. The Chariot is literally movement. Okay, and Archangel Metatron is coming forward with this Chariot card. If... Some of you need, you could call on him and ask him to help clear your energy centers because this Archangel is very good at this, Archangel Metatron, clearing your energy centers, clearing that fog away. Definitely a movement. There's an opportunity coming in for a lot of you and it's going to be a little uncomfortable for some of you because you're like, oh my God, I, I don't know if I can, I should do it, but this decision is going to be a big one. I feel like a lot of you are definitely a crossroads here. A lot of you are healers and it's, I feel like spirit is coming forward to, they want you to step into this power, my pile threes. Okay, let's look at the sacred travel or oracle deck and see what other messages are coming forward for you, my pile threes. Spirit for my pile threes, what other guidance do you have for them about their path and how to navigate through this please? Look at this, look at this, ascending the mountain, keep going forward. Um, For some of you, if this is just some challenges that, and you feel, because a lot of you will feel deep in your heart if this is a right, the right thing for you. If this, whatever you're treading forward, like your whatever path you're going forward right now, if you feel deep in your heart, this is your life's mission, keep going forward. These are uh, setbacks that are just temporary because I feel like you guys are getting guidance and there's an opportunity coming in. For some of you, this is, you're going to be able to navigate navigate through this and and you're going to be moving into a different direction for some of you okay yeah overcoming obstacles you can overcome anything definitely my pile threes if this is an energy of you just trying to navigate through some temporary challenges you're going to get through this you're going to get through this this uh this road going into this mountain uh the mouth of the mountain 
it seems scary, but you're going to be able to find your way through this. Okay? You're going to be able to cut through with the sword, cut through that energy. But for some of you, my pile threes, I'm definitely getting that you're going to be making an, a different uh, life decision. And it's going to be leading you to um, that ultimate um, fulfillment, ultimate happiness. My pile threes. Um, let's keep going. Let's see what other messages. Because you, I feel like a lot of you need to center and really get like, get centered and, and feel your spirit. What is calling to you? What is calling to your spirit? Is it this or is it this? And for some of you, it's going to be this. And you're like, oh my God, when am I going to see some, some results? It's, it's first and definitely the cards are pointing forward that there are obstacles that you need to navigate through. A lot of you feeling overworked, but a lot of you are working very, very hard. There's going to be an opportunity coming in, but for some of you, this is definitely, um, lead, this opportunity is leading you to a decision that you, some of you are going to be making. Okay, see so spirit. Yeah, so we got grounding, go deep, explore your roots. Again, this is um, pointing forward to getting in touch with what you're, what, what it is that, get to the basics. What is it that you really, really want? What calls to your heart? For some people, it might be, you know, let's, let me keep going with this because this is really exciting, even though I've been going through some challenges. For some of you, it's like, I don't think that's going to give me fulfillment anymore. And that's okay. Spirit for pile three. For pile three, anything else? Messages for them about this, please? Any other messages for them, please? In the pile threes. I don't know which one. Okay, spirit for my pile threes. I had a bunch of cards fall out and it was too many. Pile three for my pile threes. What messages, what guidance do you have for pile three, please? About navigating through this, please. For pile three. Okay, we got uncovering treasure. Beneath the surface lies great bounty. A lot of you are going to be finding this. A lot of you are going to be finding this, um, this opportunity is coming in for a lot of you that beneath the surface, beneath all that hard work, you're going to be uncovering this, but also beneath the surface of when you get in touch with yourself, when you ground and get in touch with what you really want, you're going to be finding this treasure. So there's two messages here for a lot of you. Okay, because this is, you know, a general reading here. So this is going to be applying, you know, applying to like many people. But like, I really feel this is too, this reading has gone in two ways. For some of you, you're going to get to the to the bottom of this, you're going to get through these some of some, these obstacles. And for some of you, you're going to be going into a different direction and finding your treasure there. But definitely here at the bottom of the deck, we've got mystic healer. Healing energy flows through you. You guys are definitely healers. Some of you my pile threes. Definitely, some of you are amazing healers. And I'm going to close the reading with Archangel Michael. Any messages from Archangel Michael, please, for my pile threes about navigating through this point in their life, please. What guidance do you have for my pile threes? Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. So we've got explore your options. Is definitely, for some of you, you're going to be exploring other options going into different path we got lean on god and the angels for support getting into that temple and and asking for guidance anything else archangel michael for them for my pile threes guidance for them on their path please for pile three guidance for them on their path please Have confidence, have confidence, have confidence, my pile threes. You're going to get through this. You're, you got this. You got this. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to find your way through this. Okay, pile three. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Let me know in the comment section um, how this resonated for you. And I will see all of you soon. I wish you all the best. Okay, uh, have a great night. Bye.